zoo, Jerry? No, my apartment complex doesn't allow zoos. Well, you're lucky, because everybody tries to say llamas. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what's up? I'm, I'm in the middle of a big rewrite. I'm going on Arsenio tonight. Yeah, congratulations. Well, it's not a big deal. I've been on there a million times. <laughs> okay, twice. Anyway, I finally run out of material, and I need you guys to write me about 20 jokes. Jackie, Jackie, it is not our job to write jokes for your talk show appearances. It is now. Come on, you know how long it takes to write 20 jokes? About two hours. How do you figure? Well, it's three now, and I need them at five, so... Jackie, I'm in the middle of a, I'm in the middle of a big rewrite. I, I can't keep my writers here all night. I see, so you guys probably want to take a break and watch Arsenio. Okay, uh, do that, and then come back and finish the script an hour later or so. You're too good to us. Hey, don't take advantage of me, man. Now get out of here. I'm about to close the deal on a three-legged rhino that's priced to move. Good luck. All right. Yeah, give me that guy in Zanzibu. <laughs> Voices of yours, huh? Honey, you ain't heard nothing yet. Hit it, fellas. <laughs> he says, Hey, I can't take sixty seven more of those. <laughs> Amazing. Every, every joke got a laugh. Yeah, even Nancy's. You know, I don't understand why he didn't do my Nixon joke. No, maybe he doesn't like doing topical humor. Guys, this is incredible. <laughs> we wrote those jokes this afternoon, yeah. and, and tonight they're on television. Mm -hmm. You think Jackie will let us do this again? Gee, only if we beg him. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but you guys know Jackie Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're his writing staff. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey! These guys write the Jackie Thomas show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, round of drinks right here on me. Oh, no, thank, thank you. you. Thanks thank very you much. very much. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we love you, man. So, like, from the slaughterhouse to, like, a top ten network series, boy, I mean, what makes this show work? Well, I'll tell you, Arsenio, any good show, as you know, starts off with the writing. <laughs> and that's why I write all the scripts myself. <laughs> no, but you have a lot of writers that help you out, I'm sure, you know, I mean... <laughs> I wish, man. You know, when I get the scripts, they're like train wrecks. I'm serious. Any of you guys know how to write? Anybody know anybody that knows how to write? Kids? Weird uncles? Gym teachers? You want a job? Damn, you're brutal, Jackie. Gym teachers. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm telling you, anybody would be better than the bozos I have on my show. If you guys could write your name, you got a job. Yo, cancel that order. Wow, uh, so, are you meeting a lot of girls now that you're hot? Yes, I am. Did you see it last night? I saw it. And? What can I say? It was vintage Jackie. Here. What's this? Resumes. Jackie gave out our fax number last night, remember? So far, it's mostly gym teachers. I don't believe this. We, we, we kill ourselves writing jokes for this guy, and then he trashes us. I... Who does he think he is? God, with tattoos. 
I, I, I try to be patient with the guy. I try to be patient with the guy. But I'm not, I'm not just going to sit here and take it. You want my advice? Yeah. Sit there and take it. <laughs> now, I know that you're upset about this, but it's not going to do any good to confront Jackie. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You know, I'm not the only one who felt this way. You should have seen these guys last night after the show. I, I'm going to have to deal with a, a room full of angry writers. Hey, morning, Jim. Morning, boss. Hi. How's everybody feeling today? Fine. Oh, great. Fine. No reason to complain. So let's get to work, shall we? Now, yesterday we were talking about maybe giving Chaz a girlfriend. Well, I thought it would be a lovely idea if we made her vegetarian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody all right? Everybody's okay? Yeah, we're fine. Uh-huh. Right, so, and what if Jackie won't let Chaz see her until she starts eating meat? Good idea. Good idea. Jackie loves meat jokes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A few hours ago, you guys were ready to tear Jackie apart. Oh, that. <laughs> that was last night when we were all full of liquor. Today, we're afraid for our jobs again. Hey, guys. Catch the show last night? Yeah, we saw it. Man, did I kill. Hey. I got it on tape. You want to see it again? Well, Jackie, actually, we had a little tiny problem with the show. We hated it. Not enough me, huh? <laughs> you made us look like idiots. Uh, the, the scripts were like train wrecks. What was that? You, you know, we, we're, we're, we're busting our butts to make this show good. Why didn't you say that? Because it's not funny. You know, you made us feel like crap. I, you know, I don't know what else to say. I just think that we deserve an apology. I see. Is that how everybody feels? No. Oh, no. I mean, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys can tell me. You know, a show's like a ship, and I'm the captain, and, and you guys are, you know, the writers. And uh, if anybody's upset, I want to know about it. Well, maybe it was just a little rude. Yeah, even for you. <laughs> <laughs> Made my mom cry. <laughs> You guys feel better? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, because I want to tell you how I... We get the point. I don't think you do get the point. Let me tell you people how it works. I go on television, rattle a few cages, get some publicity, and our ratings go up. And so do you guys' salaries. And this is how you repay me? I think you guys owe me an apology. <laughs> We're not going to apologize to you. Sorry, Jackie. Uh, me too. I'm sorry. Where's yours, mister? Oh, I, I don't... You don't want to work on this show anymore? No, that's not the point. Apology accepted. <laughs> but I am still very, very hurt by all this. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we're ready to start. <laughs> Jackie, what happened to your shoes? Hey, I'm not wearing those stupid platform shoes. <laughs> Why do we have to do a flashback show anyway? I hate the 70s. We're losing the shoes. Okay, Jackie, um, you're bonding with your son. You're, you're an involved 70s dad. Okay? Okay. Action! <laughs> Damn, cut! Why do I have to do this? Why can't the kid stand up and pee like a normal guy? You know, maybe I'll cross swords with him or something. Jackie, it's only a doll. Um, let's try it again. Okay. And action! They're gone. Anybody here in five seconds is gone! This December 4th, the con is on. I am running for Congress. Go wild. I got a sprinkler too, man. Back oh. Go crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Go ballistic. Been like a nice warm Uzi. Eddie Murphy is coming to Washington. Put your hands together! And
And he's putting the con right where it belongs. Oh. The Distinguished Gentleman, rated R, starts Friday, December 4th. Jackie throws the doll against the wall and starts stomping around the set like some kind of crazed animal. It was beautiful. It's so awesome. Gosh. Hey, here's the man of the hour. Jerry. Jerry. Oh, good job. Jerry, that was the gutsiest thing I ever saw. <laughs> God, we're going to miss you. <laughs> Too bad we didn't get it on tape. Well, that's very nice, guys, but there's only one problem. I didn't do it. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm serious. It wasn't me. Well, that's too bad. Because I'm a pushover for a man who'd throw it all away for a cheap laugh. Okay, it was me. I said, man. News from the stage, Jackie just fired Alfonso. The prop guy? It was so sad. When Jackie canned him, he said he didn't do it and burst into tears. <laughs> Jerry, Alfonso has a wife and seven children. You. Best. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, I did it. I mean, I really did it. I peed on Jackie. I, I mean, I mean, I rigged the doll so that it would pee. I don't understand. Why would you do something I like that? No, no, I don't. I did it for us. We, we were all so bummed out, and Jackie kept walking around with that smug look on his face. I just wanted to make us happy again. But I didn't want anybody to get fired. What am I going to do? Jerry, we need to get a new fax number. Grant, are you okay? Yeah, uh, we have a little tiny problem. Grant is the one responsible for Jackie's hosing. Ah, oh, Grant? I don't believe it. I did it. I did it. Okay, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> well, we, we've got a problem here. Um, all right, look, um, I'll go to Jackie, and I'll tell him that I did it, and he'll threaten me, and he'll scream at me, but maybe I'll get him to hire Alfonso back. I think that you have done enough already. Oh, really? What is that supposed to mean? Well, this whole thing wouldn't have happened if you just kept your mouth shut about the Arsenio oh, thing. Oh, so now it's my fault. Well, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. besides, if you go down and tell Jackie that you did it, he'll probably just fire you anyway. Now, I'll go talk to him about Alfonso. No, 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 wait a minute. This is my responsibility. Uh, maybe Grant, I you stay be... out of this. This is between Laura and me. <laughs> Laura, you stay out of this. This is between Jackie and me. Uh, Laura. Grant, just stay out of this. This is between Jerry and Jackie. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Call a truce with rebel forces. That's the headline this hour on CNN. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. I feel like I should say something. Hey guys. Hmm. What you watching? <laughs> hey, I caught you guys talking to my monkeys. These are yours? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? What's this? CNN? What happened to Green Acres? Give me that. <laughs> Jackie, we, we need to talk to you about something. Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of my monkeys. Now sit down here. Excuse me. Uh, okay, what's up? We're upset. We're upset that you fired Alfonso. Okay, I, I give up. Who's Alfonso? The prop guy. Feeding time. Gotta get me a sandwich. <laughs> give these to these guys. Uh, Jackie, look, uh, Alfonso wasn't responsible for what happened today. Oh, yeah? How do you know that? How do we know that? We know that because he's, a, he's an honest, decent man, an honest, and he told us man. that uh, he didn't do it, and we believe him. He didn't have a motive. Hmm. Okay. So Alfonso didn't do it. Now let's think about this. I guess it had to be someone that works on the show that really hates my guts. I'm drawing a blank here, guys. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Jackie, do you know what I think? I think that, that this was just a childish prank, mm -hmm. and that I think that we all see you as sort of a father figure, and I think that if you, you were a good father figure, you would be nice to your children. Oh, really? 
you want to see where my dad burned me with his cigarettes? Well, more like uh, a big brother. <laughs> Let's cut the crap, Harper. I know that it was you or one of your writers. Nobody else would do anything that stupid. Then why did you fire Alfonso? Because somebody had to pay for it. And right now I need writers more than I need prop guys. Yeah, but Alfonso has a wife and seven kids. Oh, then you guys must really feel bad. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting bored with you guys. Put down the monkeys and get out of here. Go back to work. Oh, that was very good with the father figures. Well, at least right. I said something. I didn't just sit there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll return to more of our special Green Acre Fire Pond after these messages. <laughs> Are you sure you don't have any openings, Cliff? He's one of the best prop guys around. Oh, I, I didn't know there was such a thing as a prop guy glut. <laughs> All right, well, I understand. Well, that's everybody I know in town. Call Alfonso again. Grant, we've been trying every five minutes. Maybe he took his family on vacation someplace. They're probably down in San Diego playing on the beach. Yeah, I bet he's dead. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were stealing food from the stage. Crew guy told me that Alfonso may lose his house, the poor man. All right, Nancy, I think Grant feels bad enough. He also told me that Alfonso spent most of his spare time working with disabled children. Uh, Nancy, I told you about the time he helped me change my tire. The man is a saint. Yeah, I had dinner with him once. He changed the water into wine. <laughs> but that is not funny. I'm gonna go tell Jackie it was me. Grant, he doesn't care who did it. Then I'll tell him that if he doesn't hire Alfonso back, I'll quit. Oh, come on, you can't quit. You're the best writer I've got. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I gotta do it, Jerry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, uh, I'll go with you, all right? That way you can fire the both of us. I'll go too. You guys are something else. <laughs> yeah, they're idiots. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? I'm tired of working this dump anyway. Now, this is a great idea. You know, there's no way that Jackie will fire all four of you. <laughs> oh, God, I'll never get to be head writer. <laughs> what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. The big monkey ate the little monkey. What do you mean that's impossible? I looked at his cage this morning and he was gone. You sold me cannibal monkeys, pal, and I want my money back. My Beverly Hills lawyer, that's who. What is this, a team photo? Jackie, Jackie, we're here to talk about Alfonso. You guys ready to fess up, huh? All right, which one of you bottom feeders did it? It doesn't matter, but if you don't rehire Alfonso, we're all walking off the show. It's not a bluff, Jackie. You guys have quit over something this stupid? You heard, Jerry. Count me in. Damn right. <laughs> Even you, you've been with me since the show started. That's right. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Okay, you'll rehire him, okay? Okay, go ahead and quit. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and get in my car, and the first four people I run over will be the new writing staff, then I'm gonna back up and get myself a new assistant. I got something to say. <clears throat> Jackie, I was the one who rigged the joke. I'm the one you should fire. I already did fire you, and I fired the rest of you guys, too, so turn your whiny butts around and get the hell out of here. And one more thing. What? Gotcha! Ha! Got, got, gotcha what? Gotcha. It was a joke. You did a joke. I did a joke. We're even. <laughs> Firing Alfonso was even a joke? It sure was. What? <laughs> <laughs>
That was pretty good. Pretty damn good. There you go. I mean, even Alfonso was believable the way he started crying. You know? Well, I didn't tell him. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you mean you didn't tell Alfonso that it was a joke? <laughs> no way, man. I didn't want to take a chance. He might have blown it for me. <laughs> you see, you should have let Alfonso in on it. That's usually the way a practical joke works. No, no, this is way better. Think how happy he's going to be when he gets his job back. Hey, send in the prop guy. I've had him waiting out there all day. This is so neat. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Not very good. Well, I got some great news. You got your job back. It's all a big joke. <laughs> I don't understand. See, I fired you, but I didn't really fire you. Anyway, it all turned out great. You should have seen these guys' faces. <laughs> a joke? Yeah, it's a joke. You start back to work tomorrow morning. No, tomorrow I'm leaving town. I'm going to work on my brother's fishing boat in Oregon. You're moving your whole family to Oregon? I'm going alone. My wife left me. <laughs> oh, my God. See, what you didn't know is before you played your joke, your beautiful joke, my wife and I were having trouble in our marriage. But we were trying to work it out. Then I got fired and everything fell apart. My wife filed for a divorce this morning. Thank you for ruining my life. I get it, man. This is another joke. A joke on my joke. This is so great. Alfonso's going to walk through that door and say it's a big joke. Probably going to have a prop gun threatening to blow my head off. I don't think so, Jack. This isn't funny, guys. You know, I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. We actually destroyed a man's life. <laughs> Yeah, this can't be happening. Come on. Somebody's holding out on me, huh? He's gonna come walking through that door any minute. Here he comes, guys. Walking through the door. Jackie will be right back. Who writes this crap? Time to examine world events, issues, and newsmakers with Bernard Shaw in Washington and Susan Rook in Atlanta.